Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world. Looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us. In symbolism, and on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Today we're going to show how Melania Trump is more symbolism of the woman riding the beast. The beast being Donald Trump, as well as many others that make up this many-headed, it's a many-headed beast. That all work together. Even Obama and M Michelle Obama were involved having seven heads and ten horns. Just like Obama could be one of the heads, Donald Trump could be one of the heads. But that's what's going on, and that's why Melania's I really don't care jacket is about. She doesn't care. She represents Revelation 17, the woman on the beast that will fight Jesus Christ. Ten kings, and the ten horns with thou sawest are ten kings, and they have one mind. These shall make war with the Lamb. These are shown all around us. This is a glyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. You have to remember that from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt, and Moses came out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. Many of these map out the biblical end times, because it's called coming out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. I am a professional polo player, and for everybody on my team out there, and for everybody on our channel, yesterday we played a team called Egypt and we won. So today is an easy day for us, but me and the girls, we actually beat the team Egypt that flew in to play us. So you can see the symbolism is playing all, all around. So we defeated Egypt yesterday. Today is an easy day for us when we go down there. I had actually asked for uh, if anybody would come down and watch our game. And the one individual that showed up was called a weirdo showed up at my game called Crazy Johnny. Well, Crazy Johnny showed up, this weird spirit, just like Donald John Trump. See there? And he walked all around and messed with people. And he kept saying he was Crazy Johnny. You know, so. But he didn't amount to much. But anyways, you could see that the spiritual thing was going on, and that was the day that we beat Egypt. So let's show some here. Let's show Donald Trump and Obama right on here as two of the heads of the same beast. These things are hidden right in front of us. This one's turned upside down like a cryptic glyph. And you can see Obama with the mask of Loki. You pass the mask to the next person and Loki goes inside of them, Satan. See this little pirate going in there? Part of the beast out of the sea and the beast, just as in your, your Johnny Depp pirate movies, that's the Dutchman right there. See him going down the ladder into the pineal gland inside of Donald Trump. So that's what's going on. There he is. Well, let's show him in several places and show him as the beast. And this is why Donald Trump is working with Russia. The whole world was created by God. And then the fallen angels corrupted it and the flood came. The whole earth was flooded. And then the new earth rose out of the ocean and it's a story which will end one day and it will all be remade. This is down near Russia. And that's why Donald Trump and even Obama had some dealings with Russia. Can you see the pirate right here? Donald Trump and the woman riding the beast. And then you can see the big bear, the feet of the bear. Vladimir Putin is involved, as well as with China, as we've shown. And his feet, whereas the feet of a bear, the beast, and I saw the beast rise up. The beast was as the feet of the bear. Remember, it has seven heads and ten horns. It can be Obama and Donald Trump and the Pope and Vladimir Putin and Saudi Arabia and China. They're all part of the seven heads and ten horns. Can you see the woman right here? Riding the beast, the pirate, and then the bear. This is a very large area of Russia. That's Moscow right over there. There they are. 
can even see the little duck. It has a lot of symbolism to do with trying to steal the eagle. The duck, the Dutchman, Donald. Do you see the pirate? The same thing that we showed that went inside of Donald Trump's pineal gland. And this is what is inside of Melania Trump. And do you see the feet of a bear? That is the beast that will fight Jesus Christ. She doesn't care. Neither does Donald Trump. It's all a big fiasco. There he is. Part of the beast. All of this is fake. 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 Vladimir Putin. All of them are fake. They're all part of the same exact beast. And these have one mind. They are all the same. That guy controlling them. You can't deny that. There's the feet of the bear. Russia. And the beast will give them their power. Vladimir Putin helped Donald Trump get elected, just as actually Obama was helped. Obama came out of nowhere also. You can see that right there. You can't deny that. It's there. And I had Crazy Johnny show up at my polo game yesterday when we defeated Egypt. There you go. It's proven beyond a shadow of a doubt. That is the woman riding the beast. And we're heading towards the victory of the Lamb. And these guys are going to fight Jesus Christ. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Keep faith. This is God's plan. We will get through this. It, it's going to happen. Just keep faith. Look at everything God has made. These guys didn't even know this was here. None of these people even knew this was here. And it says in the Bible, people like myself and millions of others will wake up and show signs in the heavens and on the earth. Acts 217 in the Bible says that people like me will start to show you these things. Thank you very much, everybody. I'll see you at the wedding feast of the Lamb. The woman on the beast. She don't care. God bless you. Hallelujah.